What's up guys? Welcome back for another OU Live in Gen 7 today. I said I didn't want to record any more of these, but I just made a team that's so good and I, I couldn't I couldn't not record with it. Like that's how I started YouTube, guys. If you didn't know, I just got out of my bed one day, made an amazing team on Showdown, and started recording with it. And it did really well. And that's how I started putting out lives like this, and it's only gotten better and better, and it's all thanks to you guys. Your continued support, you guys liking videos, commenting, especially commenting. I love when you guys comment on stuff, and there are some pretty consistent commenters. So Lucia, I'm looking at you, uh, as well as, who else was there? <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> there's a few uh, frequent commenters on my uh, on my videos and uh, it's really really cool because it's it means you guys watch all my stuff and uh, it just keeps me going like that's that's what really motivates me to keep me keep me going is you guys watching I wouldn't be doing this if uh, none of no nobody at all was enjoying it so today we got a team and it's a pretty savage team let me tell you um, I've gone 16 and 2 with it and one of those losses was to Ethan we ran into each other on the ladder uh, and yeah, uh, he had a, a crazy team and I couldn't handle it, so I lost. But um, as you can see here, uh, we are at one, number 111 on the ladder, so we're actually not too far off. With like three wins, we could actually end up in top 50. So that's what we're going to try to do right now. And uh, let's get a game. Let's see how quick we can get one, considering our rank. And uh, I'll explain the team as we get into the game. Uh, as you can see, we're using the best mon ever on our team, Clefable right there yep paired with uh, the deadly combo that is Aegis Slash and Feramosa uh, and we've got a uh, I said I wanted to explain it during the game but you know what let's let's get some filler in here um, okay I think I've did I play this guy already no I didn't um, Latios is Scarfed uh, Garchomp is Focus Sash uh, Swords Dance with Stealth Rock and Gyarados is Mega with Waterfall uh, Earthquake and Crunch now I might switch up Crunch for Ice Fang because I'm having a lot of trouble dealing with Tapu Bulu. This guy doesn't have one, luckily, but otherwise it would be a very, very big issue for me. So what I'm actually going to do against this guy is I'm going to lead off with Garchomp because I can't risk a lead Aegislash as he's going to lead off with Feromoso, which is absolutely fine. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks right here, I think. Uh, yep, let's go for rocks. He's gonna go for U-turn. It's gonna do a lot. That looks like banded damage Actually, I could calc it right now, but I'm not gonna waste my time. He's gonna go into Tapu Fini uh, This thing is just gonna defog. I'm just gonna go for Earthquake real quick Get off some damage on this and uh, then we'll set up our rocks again and we'll threaten this thing out with something I don't know what yet, but with something um, This is another thing that's a pretty big issue to my team He's actually just gonna go straight for the moon blast so very good play on my opponent's part knowing that I would probably stay in and um, what's the biggest threat on his team to me? Probably Tapu Koko. Uh, no, probably Hoopa. Yeah, definitely Hoopa. I could trick this right now. Um, not really feeling it. I could also Calm Mind, but he could be Haze. Aegislash might be the play as well. Uh, Aegislash just invites in Hoopa, though. That's that's the issue. Um, but yeah, we're going to go Aegis. Nothing switches into a Shadow Ball, so that's good. As he's going to go for Defog, there we go. There go the rocks. And we're going to get off a sizable amount of damage off on this Tapu Fini. It takes that way too well. Why does it take Earthquake and Shadow Ball well? What is this thing? Mixed Defensive? What the heck? Alright, we're going to Shadow Ball again as he goes into Hoopa. Uh, he's in Misty Terrain and not Psychic Terrain, so I can just go for the Shadow Sneak if I choose to. I do have 336 attack. Uh, switching into Clefable might also be the play. Yeah, okay, this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to switch into Clefable. He's going to go for a trick, actually, and give me choice specs, which isn't bad at all, <laughs> realistically. Um, I'm just going to go for the Moonblast. Uh, I'm not going to switch out or anything. My initial plan was to switch out, but he's going to go into Tapu Fini. That's fine. Going to get off this Moonblast right here. Going to get a special attack drop, which is going to help. And uh, we'll just go for another Moonblast right now. I'm assuming Aegislash is coming out after or right away. Okay, uh, he, leaves, he leaves his Tapu Fini alive. Which is fine because that's just fodder for Feramosa to gain some special attack boosts later. Uh, we are special Feramosa, by the way. We do have Hidden Power Dark as well, which is good. Uh, Hoopa's sitting at 58. Uh, how much? Well, this is at full. His uh, own Feramosa is at 88. Uh, yeah, we might, we might be able to sweep up with uh, with Feral, uh, honestly. Now, I can see this thing definitely going for a Flash Cannon right here. 
I don't have a great counter measure. Uh, I'm going to go to, out into my own Aegislash as he's going to go for the Shadow Ball, actually. Uh, we're going to be able to take it, luckily. And I think I'm just going to Shadow Ball, honestly, and try to win the Speed Tie. Because that's more than likely my best play. If we win the Speed Tie, then we basically knock out this Aegislash right now. So that's really, really good. And if we get rid of that, then Pheromos is just having a field day. So let's do that. He's actually going to uh, stance change uh, as we are going to have this battle if you want to, sir. I'm going to go for King Shield <laughs> on his Shadow Ball. Uh, we're just going to be going back and forth and he's going to be giving me health. So I can't see him switching out here. Um, okay, he does. He goes into Hoopa. That's fine. I'm going to go for the uh, King Shield. It's going to fail. And uh, seeing as he specs, I'm expecting a Dark Pulse. So I'm going to King Shield again. I don't expect Hyperspace as he does Dark Pulse. Awesome. Okay. So we're able to uh, take that quite well. He was Specs. Uh, he's not anymore, obviously. We're going to go out into Clefable now. You're going to see what he hits us with. Goes for the Psychic. Very nice play. I could have just stayed in and Shadow Balled, but it's okay. I'm expecting a switch back into Aegislash now. Uh, but I can't really act on that. Other than going for T-Wave, which might be my play. Yeah, I'm going to go for T-Wave. Honestly, because I slow down this Hoopa. I slow down the Aegislash, which makes it easier for my Aegislash to beat. He is just going to go for another Psychic, that's fine. We do make this Hoopa potentially slower than Aegislash, unless he's max speed. Um, I'm actually just going to let him take me out here, probably with a Dark Pulse. Uh, yep, there it is. Didn't want to risk switching into Aegislash there. And now what I can actually do is go into Gyarados and start setting up if I want to. His, the problem is his Tapu Koko is faster than me, even at plus one. So, hmm. You know what, I think that's still my play regardless he doesn't have an intimidator so yeah i'm gonna go to gara and we're gonna go for the dragon dance uh with mega evolution right here uh we should be able to knock out the pheromos so hopefully he goes into age slash and lets me dragon dance again because then i'm faster than his whole team and i knock everything out he actually decides to stay in which is amazing unless he has a fighting move uh he does have energy ball okay that's gonna do a lot to us um, the problem is Tapu Koko outspeeds, so does Feromosa, so I think I have to play off the para and go for another Dragon Dance here. Or can I just save this? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna go for Waterfall. He actually makes a switch out into Tapu Fini, which was not the play, because if I Dragon Danced again, then I just swept his team. But, uh, that's okay. He's gonna go out into Age of Slash now. Interesting play. Uh, I'm gonna go for the... Shadow Ball doesn't knock me out, right? Hold on a second. Wait up. Age slash uh, blade. Uber defensive. Give it 252. Make it quiet. Because that's normally what they run. Gyarados. Mega. Um, give it Shadow Ball. Yeah, Shadow Ball only does 22% to me. So I think I'm just going to go for another Dragon Dance, honestly, guys. Uh, and then Crunch is going to be stronger because it's super effective and stab. Yeah, I'm going to go for Dragon Dance. Hopefully he doesn't have the Sacred Sword. We'll see. As he goes for Shadow Wall, that's not going to be able to take me out at all. And we're just going to go for the Earthquake here. He might have just lost the game by doing that. He's going to go for King Shield, and I'm pretty sure a plus two Crunch knocks this out. While it's in um, Shield form. We'll check it out right now. Uh, Uber Defensive... With no defense investment at plus two, this is an easy KO. So we will just go for the crunch right here. As he's going to shadow sneak us, that's not going to take me out, bro. Goodbye, Aegislash. All right, so I think my opponent choked the game away, <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest. That was completely unnecessary. All he had to do was go into something faster than Gyarados, uh, if I'm adamant, of course. And he's going to forfeit. Yep, there we go. And we go up to... 15 24 okay so we get a plus 14 for that let's keep going i really didn't think i was gonna win that game to be honest with you guys <laughs> i thought it was, i had lost that but uh my opponent pretty much choked the game by going into age of slash i really thought he had sacred sword and i'm just like okay well i'm gonna get knocked out anyway and it's fine whatever we'll play from there we'll go into Feramosa. we'll try to hp dark him because that's what we are uh to hit uh age of slash and marowak we too had came at ko spadef marowak uh after the uh, after rocks so that's why i have that like that so let's see um i see a mew i also see a dog trio which is a little bit annoying especially if it's aerial ace 
Ah, uh, I see a Stealth Rock Center in Landorus. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to lead off here with Faramosa. I know it's an obvious lead. He leads off with Rotom, which is great. I'm going to go for the Focus Blast. If he wants to burn me, so be it. Uh, actually, hold on. He has an Aegislash. Would he go into it now? Yeah, I think I have to HP Dark. Mm. He's going to predict the U-turn. I think. Let's Focus Blast. We get off a nice 52% on this thing. We lower its spit F. He goes for a Pain Split. Awesome. And now I'm going to go for HP Dark. Predicting the Aegislash. He should go into it. Either that or... Landorus. Either way, I want to smack either one of them. <laughs> That's fine by me. Uh, because of that spit F drop, I don't think he can stay in on another potential Focus Blast. So I can definitely see him going out into Aegislash, which is great because this does like 32 to 38 to that thing. I want to weaken it as soon as possible. So he is going to go Aegislash. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> we get off 31% there. And uh, now I'm going to go into Clef on this. As he stands, changes, goes for Shadow Ball. It's going to crit me, do 50%. Okay. We should be faster than this Aegislash. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Moonblast here. I don't need Clef this game. It's beaten by uh, Venusaur. So I am just going to go for Moonblast. And he's going to get back into his shield form. I'm going to go for Thunder Wave now. Trust me, guys. Thunder Waving Aegislash is not a bad thing at all. Unless it's Gyro Ball. But <laughs> every other time, like... If you can get uh, full paras on this thing while it's trying to change form, that's so good. It goes into uh, blade form, and it gets full parad. And then you just smack it afterwards, which is crazy. He's going to not get full parad, I don't think. Nope, he's Iron Head. Okay, cool. So that means that uh, I can pretty safely go out into Garchomp here. I think he's just either going to King Shield... Or uh, switch out directly into Landorus. Either way, I'm going for Stealth Rocks. He does have a Defogger. Uh, I'm, it's either that. It's either Landorus or Rotom coming in here. I can't see him staying in. There's no reason to to King Shield and risk a Para. Like this thing. This is why this thing is crippled right now. Because if he were to go for King Shield and it were he, and if he were to get full Para, uh, he would still switch forms, but he wouldn't be protected for that turn. So that's really really good. He's going to go for uh, for the switch into Landorus, and I'm expecting this thing to be Stealth Rocks. At the same time, I don't think it can hit me too, too hard, so I'm going to go for Swords Dance. Let's see what he does as he goes for Stealth Rocks. Yep, okay. We're now at plus one attack. I'm going to smack this thing with a Dragon Claw right now. I expect it to be defensive. Um, if it's Rocky Helmet, he can two-hit KO me. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't think so. It's still a Landorus, but we'll see. We are at plus one. Let's see what we can do. I'm pretty much trying to get everything in range to where I can sweep with Faramosa. So this is going to help. As uh, He's going to go for Earthquake. Yeah, he is Rocky Helmet. And I'm just going to go for another D-Claw at this point. As we are able to bring this thing down to 13%. And he goes for another Earthquake. Fantastic. Um, if he has the Stone Edge, he would be able to hit us. I can almost sweep with Gyarados. I just need to weaken the Venusaur. So I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into Faramosa at this point. Luckily, we're at Expert Belt and not Life Orb, so we're not taking additional damage every time we attack, which is really good. I'm just going to go for Hidden Power Dark. I, I can't see him switching out into Venusaur because of the potential. Okay, so this thing gets hit by a Hidden Power Dark, right? And then he gets hit by another Hidden Power Dark. <laughs> and if he gets full Parad, then he's in a terrible position. Because he's in blade form. Uh, he does get the Shadow Ball off. Okay, that's fine. I think he has to switch out on my Shadow Ball, though. And he does not have a good switch to this at all. Yeah, he doesn't. We'll go for Shadow Ball here. We know that even in blade form, uh, in shield form, excuse me, uh, Aegislash is still uh, O-Code from that range. He's actually going to sack off his Lando and make me go into blade form, which is a good play. I didn't think he was actually that low. Uh, I thought he had a little bit more HP, but anyway. Uh, I can see Dougie coming in here, but Dougie doesn't Oko unless it's Choice Banded. He's actually going to go into Rotom, which is a good play, because then he's going to get off the necessary damage he needs to knock me out with Dougie, I think. 
We're just gonna go for Shadow Ball. He's actually gonna Wisp here. Um, okay. I am Leftovers, so I'm not actually taking anything from this. And I can just Shadow Ball again. Once again, nothing switches in. I need- I still need to weaken the Venusaur, though. That's the problem that I'm faced with. Uh, now the good news is he Pain Splits. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go for sh another Shadow Ball here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna King Shield on whatever his attack is gonna be. That way he'll do less damage to me when he actually hits me. Um, the good news is, Latios is Scarfed, and can spam Shadow Ball against him at this point as well. We have, uh, dual Shadow Ball users on this team, which is a very, very good move right now. In fact, Gengar is probably really good right now, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah. Even if he goes for Hydro Pump now, I'm in Shield form, so... I can also... The thing is, if he brings in Dugtrio... I get set up with my uh, Gyarados, and at plus one, I believe after Rocks and Crunch, that um, Venusaur will go down to a Shadow Ball from uh, from Latios. So we are gonna knock out the Rotom here, which is amazing, because like that's the one thing that potentially could have taken a Shadow Ball if it was healthy enough. Uh, Mew can as well, but we'll see. Uh, I expect his uh, Duggy to come out here, and I'm gonna just Shadow Sneak it, I think. There's no reason for me to, to King Shield at that point. He's actually gonna go into Mew. Huh. Interesting. What kind of Mew are you? Okay, I'm gonna go for King Shield, because I don't have a reason not to, unless he defogs. Like, that's really the only... Okay, there it is. He was ready to get hit by a Shadow Ball. With his Mew. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I think Dougie still dies to Shadow Ball into Shadow Sneak. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, he goes for knockoff. He fails to knock me out. And I'm, and I'm going to go down after this, which is amazing. Because uh, he's Will-O-Wisp, right? He's probably Will-O-Wisp, I would expect. Okay, now we weaken Mew to the point where it will die to uh, Shadow Ball. So, do I try to set up with Gera? I think I do. I think I try to set up with this. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in regular. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Dragon Dance in regular. If he misses a Wisp, this game is pretty much over. Because like I said, the damage from Crunch on Venusaur is going to be way too much. He is going to hit Wisp, that's fine. I'm going to go for another DD here. As long as I stay regular Gyarados, I should be fine. We should still have this game. Okay. I'm gonna DD again. He's gonna go for Soft Boiled. I'm gonna DD up again. Now I'm basically back to like plus 0.5. Uh, we're at 383 attack, so back up to where we were. We're extremely fast, <laughs> which is great. Um, this Mew can't touch me, so he's just letting me set up at this point, which is great. Earthquake will take out Aegislash from where it's at. Venusaur does come in, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Crunch in regular at plus one. Uh, actually, in fact, Earthquake is a better play. He's going to go for Giga Drain. I don't know how much he's actually going to get back, though. That's the thing. Uh, it all comes down to whether or not Dugtrio has suck a Sucker Punch at this point. That's really all it is. Because I'm going to have to spam Shadow Ball. So we're going to go for Crunch without Mega Evolving first. As he's going to Mega Evolve, uh, that's only going to do 26%. Okay, not nearly as much as I would have liked. Alright, um, I think we have to Mega Evolve and go for the Crunch now. Uh, actually, how much does Giga Drain do? 29? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going for Earthquake again first. As he goes for a Sludge Bomb. And that does not put us in burn range, which is amazing, because now we're going to go for the Crunch. And hopefully, hopefully, this is enough. We'll see, though. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. We'll see. Had he missed a Wisp, I think this game would have been over. Um, but I can't bank on that, obviously. We're gonna get the Spit F drop. Uh, the Defense drop, excuse me. We're gonna go on to Latios. And unfortunately, I can't click Trick because this is a Mega. And I think we're just going to go for the Shadow Ball. The one time I wish we weren't choice. <laughs> the one time. Just gonna go for the Ball. We'll see how much it does. Hopefully, uh, we can crit spit F drop into crit spit F drop uh, into kill. 
<laughs> that's that's really all I can do. He's taking quite a while for his place. Every time I sit down to record, I don't know what it is, but like I get this like this reflex coming from my stomach and it's really annoying. Might be the heat in here. Really got to work on uh, ventilation in my room. But we'll see. We'll see what we uh, what we got here. Um, he might switch out into Mew, which would be fantastic, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, this one doesn't look too good. Really, I, I think I had to get in Gara earlier. Like, before Mew was in. Or I just had to knock out Mew with Crunch. Before it got to... So uh, before before it got to... Um, before it got to click Will-O-Wisp on me. We are going to go for the Shadow Ball. It's not going to do anything at all. He's going to get 38% off. Uh, I'm going to go for another one. Uh, he might predict the Psychic at this point. I don't know. Uh, nope, he doesn't. He predicts us to be choice, I guess. No, he just goes for another Sludge Bomb, and he gets the Poison. Okay. So, I might have been able to win that, but, uh, the Poison pretty much ensures that I cannot. And, besides, Doug Trio probably had something to hit us anyway, so. Doesn't really matter. We are gonna go down to the Poison there. I'm gonna tell my opponent GG. He played very well, and we will proceed to another game. We are 21 minutes deep, so those were actually quite long battles. A lot longer than I expected them to be. This is a game where rocks are going to be super, super important, and they're going to be very hard to keep up because my opponent does have a Zapdos. So I pretty much have to... Actually, Faramosa destroys him. What am I talking about? Like, actually. Um, all right, I'm going to lead off with Chomp. He leads off with uh, Hippowdon, all right? Uh, I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks, as he's going to go for a Toxic, okay? I'm going to go for the Swords Dance now. Uh, I'm assuming he might want to go out into Zapdos to get rid of these immediately. Uh, that or Nihilego, uh, if he has HP Ice and predicts me not to Earthquake. But he does just go for the Earthquake of his own, that's fine. Uh, how much did that do? 36, we took 12 that turn. Uh, so we're going to take 18. Yeah, no, I can't afford it, I gotta go for Earthquake. As he's going to go for another Earthquake and we go down to the Poison, so there we go. Um, <laughs> this looks really good right now. Yeah, let's go into it. Um, let's just go for the Ice Beam. I think it's my best play. Uh, Ice Beam into Focus Blast should have no problem taking out Volcarona. Uh, we do knock out the Hippowdon, which is amazing. Meaning that Focus Blast, I think, has a chance to kill Nihilego now. Um, I can see Lucario coming in. At the same time, um, he actually goes Gera. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna go for the Ice Beam again. Hmm. No, I'm going to Focus Blast. He switches out into Zapdos. That's fantastic. Okay. Cool. Alright, so we get off a lot of damage on that. We lower it to Spit F. I'm just going to go for another Ice Beam now. We are going to knock out the Zapdos. And now we're sitting at plus two. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I bet he doesn't know what I am. There's no way he knows what I am. This Mon is too broken, guys. This Mon is ridiculous in this tier. It's way too good. I think plus two Focus Blast might be able to take this thing out. I'm being perfectly honest. Like, even if he doesn't Mega Evolve, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that just clean knocks him out. That's crazy. <laughs> this thing is way too strong. Look at that 1,025 special attack. What's coming in? What's coming in? Nihilego? Okay. I'm going to focus Blast you too. Okay, he's Scarfed. He's Scarfed and he went for Power Gem. So I'm going to go out into Aegislash, right? And I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball. Because I don't have a reason not to. Power Gem's not going to do anything to me. Yeah, he's just going to go out into Lucario. He's going to take a nice and hefty Shadow Ball. And then we're going to go for a... I don't want to be in with anything, but... Um... Uh, that's tough. That's tough. That's very tough. Because if I Shadow Sneak here, he gets to go out into Volcarona and basically get a kill. But then, I mean, I can go into Latios after, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, we're going to go for the Sneak. We're going to knock him out. It's cool. He can go into Volcarona if he wants to. It's fine. I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball. If he goes for the Quiver, we should be able to knock him out with Shadow Ball into Shadow Sneak. Hopefully. Let's see. We do get the Shadow Ball off. That does a ton. We get a Spadef drop. I don't think that matters, as my opponent's going to forfeit. Yeah. So I would have just gone for the Shadow Sneak after. It would have easily been able to knock him out. And then I would have just uh, King Shielded with uh, Age of Slash and knocked out his Nihilego after. I didn't even see how much we were at after that game. Let's check. We dropped quite a bit from taking losses, so... 
Um, 106. Okay, so we actually <laughs> were higher than when we started. We're gonna get one more, because that one was really quick. It lasted three minutes, so... I think we can make it a 30-minute 30, uh, 30 minute episode for sure. Alright, so this is... Ooh, this is a spooky team. Definitely very difficult to deal with. He's got a lot of the things that stop me dead in my tracks. Like Metagross, uh, Celesteela... Landorus is a pretty big issue. So is Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is probably the biggest issue. That, Tapu Bulu, like I said, those two. Uh, very, very annoying. I'm just going to lead off here with Garchomp again. Garchomp is my best lead. Like, a Sash lead is so, so good, guys. It's so good. You guaranteed get up rocks, especially with something this fast. Unless your opponent has, like, Taunt, um, uh, Taunt Tornadus, they're not stopping you. Like, you're getting up rocks. So, I'm going to go to the Aegislash Slash on this Tapu Fini. Uh, I have no reason not to fire off a Shadow Ball here. Like, none at all. If he goes into Celesteela, it's fine. He's going to go for the Taunt. Yeah, that's cool, dude. Uh, we're going to get off some huge damage with Shadow Ball. Very nice. I'm going to go for another Shadow Ball. I have no reason not to. Again, like, if he wants to Surf me, that's fine. That's cool. I'll just go uh, for another Shadow Ball, I'll knock this thing down super low, and then put it in range of Garchomp's Earthquake so it can't come in later, and Defog. He goes into Landorus, that's cool, that's fine, again, uh, we're gonna get off this huge Shadow Ball. He has Leftovers, uh, I'm not gonna risk it this early, because I do have a Rapid Spinner in Ferramosa, and he doesn't have a Ghost type, so I can always Rapid Spin later, if he gets up rocks. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna go Clef, I think. Clef is safe, so is Latios, actually, I don't expect him to, he could knock off. I'm gonna go Clef. Yeah. He's gonna go for Stealth Rocks, which is kind of what I expected. Uh, it's fine. I'm actually going to go for the T-Wave here, expecting him to switch out into Metagross, as he actually goes for Knock Off and gets rid of my Leftovers, so very nice play. Uh, I'm gonna go for a T-Wave again. If he Earthquakes, I don't think it'll 2 it KO me. I'm pretty sure. And we can always Soft Boiled off the damage after. He goes for the U-Turn, yep. I'm sure he's going to expect a, uh, a Moon Blast right here. As he actually goes into Tapu Fini, which can't be status. Very smart. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, and now nothing can be status. So this is actually pretty bad. I want to go back into Age of Slash. But at the same time, I also want a Moon Blast. But I think Age of Slash is the better play. For sure. As he's going to go for Nature's Madness. Yep. Okay. That, that move is so annoying. We're just going to Shadow Ball again. Uh, I need to get this weekend. I need to get... Uh, Celesteela to about 70. Uh, he's gonna go into Amoongus. Okay. I'm expecting the... Uh, I'm expecting the Spore. I don't really want this Spored. Hmm. Okay, what do I need the least? I think Clef, because Clef doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, Clef, Clef is Spore fodder, pretty much. He goes for the Giga Drain, actually. That's a pretty powerful Giga Drain. What the heck? What's going on? Alright. Uh, I'm going to Soft Boil here. As he goes for the Sludge Bomb. Yep. Okay, that's pretty strong. Also. Why has he not gone for Spore yet? That's my question. Alright, I'm going to go for Moonblast. I said I was sacking this off. I'm going to go for Moonblast. In case he Spores. He just goes for Giga Drain. That's fine. Um... And yeah, we're going to Moonblast this again. It's fine. It's okay, guys. It's all right. <laughs> all right, now I really want to put pressure on him by going into Latios, but at the same time, he has the Celesteela. Well, actually, it's fine. I'm going to trick here. I'm going to trick the, the Celesteela Choice Scarf, which might not be the smartest thing, but he actually goes Tapu Fini, which is even better. That's perfect. Okay, cool. So now this thing can't taunt my Aegislash Slash anymore. It pretty much has to attack here. So I'm just going to... Uh, I think I need to save this. It does pretty well against him. I don't really want to take a Moon Blast. Yeah, I'm going to go into Aegislash. Slash. Even if I take a Nature's Madness, it's okay. I'm just going to Shadow Ball after and something takes a Shadow Ball. Which might be his Aegis Slash. His, uh, not his Aegislash, Slash. His uh, Amoongus again, to be honest. He's got a very good defensive core. With Tapu Fini and, uh, and Amoongus. Very, very nice. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what he does. He doubles out into Celesteela. Okay. Are you Flamethrower? Let's find out. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. He actually doubled. Wow. Okay. 
He goes for the Leech Seed, so we're going to get off a little bit of damage on this, which is not too bad. That's going to do 42%. Like I said, I need this thing at about 70, so it's still too healthy at the moment. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into Garchomp now. That way, if he doubles into uh, Moongus, we're okay. Uh, we can get up our rocks, which is actually pretty crucial. If his Tapu Fini is, in fact, Defog, Nature's Madness, Moonblast, and Taunt, uh, which is a pretty sick set, actually. I might want to try that. But if it if that is its set, it has to lock itself into Defog if it wants to get rid of the rocks, which is great. Uh, being Choice Scarfed, it should be at about 309 speed, if I'm correct about that, if it's uninvested, which it should be in theory. I really just want Feramosa to win. And the way Feramosa wins is by... Uh, Celesteela being at 60-ish percent, uh, 60, between 60 and 70 is the roll for uh, Focus Blast to kill. Uh, Metagross has to be at about uh, 80 uh, if I don't have a boost yet. Let's see what he does. He goes for Leech Seeds again. Okay, so smart play. Uh, we'll just go for Stealth Rocks here. I really need these up. I really, really need these up. Uh, and if he attacks me, that's fine. He's going to go for Air Slash, and he's going to crit. Okay, that's not fine. <laughs> he's going to get back up to full. But I don't think he has... Um... I think he's just going to Leech Seed again, honestly. I'm going to Sword Dance. Yeah, Leech Seed my Aegis Slash. Come on. Nope, Flamethrower. Okay. Predicting the Aegis Slash still. Okay, all right. Um, You don't have anything to touch my Gyarados other than Air Slash. Latios is also pretty safe here. I could just throw out a, a Shadow Ball. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to Latios. Let's throw out a Shadow Ball. It's going to be a tough game, man. We're already down two Mons. I need this thing weakened, and he's not letting me weaken it, which is very smart on his part. He's going to Leech Seed, but he's going to miss. Perfect. Okay, that's all I needed. All right. We're going to go for another Shadow Ball here. If he goes for Leech Seed again, that's fine. I will immediately switch out. He's actually going to Protect. He knows that he needs to keep this healthy. I'm going to Shadow Ball again. I don't care. You can switch out, you can do whatever you want. You're coming back in at 72 right now anyway, so that's okay. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. It's going to bring him down to 60. He is going to land this Leech Seed. He's at 76. So now we're going to make the switch out into Aegislash. If he wants the Flamethrower, that's fine. At least he's only getting his regular Leftovers recovery, and then we can, we can come back in with either Latios or even... Um, even uh, Gyarados. He does go for another Flamethrower, so great play again. Um, I'm just going to go out into Gyarados now. And I'm actually just going to smack this with a waterfall. Because now if I get this thing... With his Tapu Fini, uh, now Choice Scarfed. If I get this thing in range to where it dies to Focus Blast, I should be able to, to just clean win this game. We do get a crit there. He's going to go for Air Slash. It's going to do a lot. I'm assuming he's going to Protect. Actually, he can't risk Protecting. I'm going to go for Waterfall again. It did 56. I don't think he can risk Protecting. That's that's a really bad play. Yeah, okay, good. We're able to knock out the Celesteela, which was one of my targets to boost up with uh, Feramosa, but it's fine. He's going to go out into Jolteon. All right, cool. Um, I didn't need this weakened, per se, so it's... I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I, st I think I still need Latios, though, so I am just going to let this go down. I'm just going to go for a uh, an Earthquake. He doesn't reveal his set. I don't know what he is. Okay. So, let's go to Latios. Let's go for a Psychic, I believe. If I allow the Metagross to come in on my Psychic, do I lose? Depends on how much Focus Blast actually does. I have to hit these Focus Blasts too, that's the worst part. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to go for Psychic. Okay, so he's not Choiced. That's great to know that he's not a Choice Scarf set. He goes into Metagross, that's a good play. He goes into Tapu Fini, okay, cool. So we should be able to 2-hit KO this. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so, um, hmm. Do I want to trick back my Scarf? Or do I, actually, do I, do I just want to Shadow Ball and get a boost off on this thing? That might be my play. Because Psychic did 39, Shadow Ball shouldn't kill. Because it's weaker and it's not stab. So yeah, I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. Okay, good. He lives on five. Perfect. Oh, no. Come on. All right. Now I, I think I have to click Trick and get rid of his Choice Scarf. 
I give him leftovers though, I don't want to do that. Um, in that case, I'm just going to Draco. Perfect. Alright. Let's try it out. Let's see if we can do it. This is it, guys. This is it. <laughs> we gotta go for... Uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta go for Ice Beam. We'll knock out the Tapu Fini. We'll get the Spatak boost. And hopefully Metagross doesn't have Bullet Punch. That's what I'm playing off of. That's all I'm playing off of is Metagross not having Bullet Punch right now. Metagross does come in. I need to calc this. I need, uh, where's Jake White's calculator? Here we go. Let me offset this for you guys so you can see this calc. It's very important. I'm not going to calc Metagross's bullet punch, but I just want to see something. If we're max attack, uh, I need Faramosa first. What is this Obama snow here? <laughs> Faramosa, level 100, in singles, 252, modest, uh, versus Metagross's level 100. Uh, bullet punch actually shouldn't knock me out. Uh, yeah, bullet punch is only doing 50 to 60. So if we put on Focus Blast here, does 81 to 95. So how about a Hidden Power Dark? Hidden Power Dark. Uh, yeah, okay. And then at plus one, 81 to 96. So I think I have to go for, yeah, I have to go for Focus Blast. He goes for bullet. It's not able to knock us out. We do connect the focus blast. We are able to knock out the Metagross. And I should be able to knock out the rest of his team. Alright. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. I'm going to calc plus two ice beam. Where is it? I'm going to calc plus two ice beam on Jolteon. It should be able to kill no problem. Plus two to Jolteon. Jolteon takes, holy, <laughs> wait, no, <laughs> level 100, 85 to 101, I think we got it in that range, Amoongus should die, Amoongus should just straight drop, yeah, it does, beautiful, he even gives us the extra boost, <laughs> yes, Pharamosa, special Pharaoh, amazing, I love this mon, I love this mon, <laughs> it's so good. Ice Beam again. He's not choice. He's going straight down. Goodbye, Jolteon. <laughs> and we are able to pick up another win. So this is a 3-1, and one, I think. We went 3-1, and one, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. GG. <laughs> GG, my opponent's just going off in the chat. There we go. Alright, goodbye, Lando. We take that one. That, that was brilliant. That was amazing. We lived... How did, how did that do so much, actually? Hold on. Metagross. Oh, because I didn't... Okay, I didn't put it in Mega. Bullet Punch, level 100. To uh, Faramosa, does 82 max. I think he actually got a max roll. He left us at 5%, so yeah. He did get a max roll. We're at 1533. Where are we now? Hold on a second. Let's see. This is a 38-minute episode, but it was so worth it. Hold on. 15... Where did we say? 1538? 1530. There's Gypsy. There's Zazo. And there's me. What? Yo. <laughs> this is the best moment ever. Right here. I love this. Gypsy King, Anthony Zazo, Iron Flash Gaming, and me. One after the other on the ladder. <laughs> I'm screenshotting this right now. I'm sending this to everybody in the GOT, everybody in the GPC. This is this is just the best. This is amazing. The NPL everywhere. I'm sending this right now. This is amazing. <laughs> I did not expect this at all. This is a lot worse than theirs. <laughs> I don't know if I want to screenshot this, but that was for me testing out a bunch of wacky teams. Uh, but this team is just amazing, guys. I love it. It's so, so good. Look at that. We were down like... How many Mons? Four? That was incredible. It was Faramosa versus the world. That plus one from hitting Tapu Fini. Like, the fact that we went for Draco Meteor on the Tapu Fini to make sure that it didn't... Uh, that it stayed in and that I would go for the Ice Beam after and knock it out was just amazing. Like, I pulled a similar uh, maneuver on somebody a little bit earlier. 
I let their Aegis Slash hit me. I went into Feramosa, making him think that I couldn't hit him, and I smacked him with an HP Dark and I swept his team. It was amazing. I love this set. I set I sent this set to Joey, uh, Chimp, Blunder, and Envy. Hopefully they see it. I tweeted at them. Uh, and uh, hopefully they use it. Maybe you guys will see this in another live somewhere else on YouTube. But uh, this is the team. Uh, it's probably my favorite team to use. It's super, super fun. I love this woman here. She's beautiful. But yeah, that's it, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.